Well, the, for the first time ever, Greenville County Council has not come to a decision on the county budget for the next two years. Tonight was the final vote. Councilors needed a supermajority of votes in order for that budget to pass. A council is until the end of this month to agree on a decision. This is a big decision. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris has been following this closely for us. You were at tonight's meeting, Kennedy. So what does this disagreement come down to? Well, Tori, it's all about property taxes, more specifically the millage rate. Do we increase it or not? The county administrator and majority of council says yes, but tonight they needed eight votes and they didn't get that. If council can't get eight people on board before this month is over, we're looking at a potential local government shutdown. That is a real possibility and a real thing. The countdown is on. It's a fact of life that we cannot sustain the budget not having raised taxes in 30 years. As it is now, the draft budget calls for a property tax increase of seven, meaning for the average home value of $350,000, you'll be paying about 75 more dollars a year in taxes. While those in favor say there's no other option to keep up with the growing needs, other councilmen say there are other ways. Can we do some this year, some next year? I don't know. Can we cut it here and there? I think we can. $375 million. There ought to be uh, some cuts. Councilman Rick Bradley originally voted in favor of the millage rate increase of seven, making him that eighth necessary vote. However, tonight he voted against it, saying he wants to see it lower. Somewhere between zero and seven mil. Somewhere between that is a magic number, and I'm willing to work to that number. And it will take work. Council only has nine days to come to an agreement. If not, midnight June 30th. If we don't have a budget, we have no spending authority. That means hundreds of furloughs, including law enforcement and EMS. Compromise will be the key. But as of day one, I don't know where that compromise is. And Chairman Dan Tripp plans to begin special called meetings as soon as Friday. In the meantime, he's urging county employees to keep working and trust they'll come up with a solution. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.